One, two, three. Eyes on me. I'm going to kind of time myself here, so I'll make sure that I don't, oh, you too, did I, hear, did I see someone doing this? That I don't talk too much so that you get plenty of time to read. All right, we're going to do something a little different today, and I want to know if you're up to the challenge. You know, lots of times with reading, how you do centers, so you do one center for a while, and then you switch and do the other center. Well, today, I'm going to challenge you to do just one thing unless we're meeting in a small group. And that one thing is reading the chapter. Give me a thumbs up if you think you're up to the challenge. If you think for like 20, maybe even 30 minutes, you can just spend that time reading the chapter. Awesome, thumbs down, excellent. All right, now, readers, because that's what we all like doing when we read, right? One of the things that's really important to remember when we're reading, is that we need to check in every once in a while. We need to make sure we understand what we're reading. Because reading is a lot more than just looking at words and turning pages, isn't it? Reading, real reading, is understanding. Real reading is making sure that we are getting the author's message, right? So this is what I want to remind you of today. Get all eyes up here. This is what I want to remind you. I want to remind you that when we are reading, it is very important that we stop every once in a while and we ask ourselves, is it clear? Am I understanding what the author is saying? Or is there some part that needs to be fixed because it's puzzling? Now, one way that we can check in, one way that we can make sure that it is clear is by asking ourselves certain questions. For example, we could ask ourselves, what and who or where about what I'm reading. So whether I'm reading a fiction book and there are characters and all, or whether I'm reading nonfiction, I can ask myself, what is this about that I'm reading here? What is it that the author wants me to understand? I can ask myself, what's the who, the what, or the where? Another thing as a reader that I can ask myself to check in to make sure that what I'm reading is clear is, can I see a movie in my mind? Something like can I see in my mind can I imagine what it is that the author is talking about now there's even a third way that I can check in to make sure it's clear and that is by asking myself what is my feeling Or if not my feeling, what is my reaction? For example, I might be reading an informational book about sharks, and then it, it tells me that sharks have multiple rows of teeth, and I'm going, what? I'm surprised because I had no idea. This is new information to me. Or I might be reading a book, in fact, I was this weekend, and come to a very sad part 
and kind of feel like turning. So we can check in, we can ask ourselves, is it clear? By asking certain questions. Let me show you what that looks like, okay? Have you ever read Google? Oh my gosh. You got you got either read it or maybe Miss Childress will read it to you. I've got next to copies of it. Well, let me show you what it means to check and see is it clear. I'm gonna read just a little bit of the first chapter to you, okay? Chapter one, Nick. If you ask the kids and the teachers at Lincoln Elementary School to make three lists, all the really bad kids, all the really smart kids, and all the really good kids, Nick Allen would not be on any of them. Nick deserved a list all his own, and everyone knew it. Was Nick a troublemaker? Hmm, hard to say. One thing's for sure, Nick Allen had plenty of ideas, and he knew what to do with them. One time in third grade, Nick decided to turn Miss Beaver's room into a tropical island. What kid in New Hampshire isn't ready for a little bit of summer in February? So first he got everyone to make some small palm trees out of green and brown construction paper and tape them onto the corners of each desk. Miss Beaver had only been a teacher for about six months, and she was delighted. That's so cute, she said. The next day, all the girls wore paper flowers in their hairs, and all the boys wore sunglasses and beach hats. Miss Beaver clapped her hands and said, it's so colorful. The day after that, Nick turned the classroom thermostat up to about 90 degrees with a little screwdriver he brought from home. All the kids changed into shorts, which would be so weird, um, and t-shirts with no shoes. And then Ms. when Miss Beaver left the room for a minute, Nick spread about 10 cups of fine white sand all over the classroom floor. Miss Beaver was surprised again at just how creative her students could be. But the sand got packed into the hallway where Manny, the custodian, did not think it was creative at all, and he stomped right down to the office. The principal followed the trail of sand, and when she arrived at Miss Beaver, she was teaching the hula to some kids near the front of the room, and a tall, thin, shirtless boy with chestnut hair was spiking a Nerf volleyball over a net made from six t-shirts tied together. The third grade trip to the South Seas ended suddenly. Hmm. Now let me think, am I getting, is it clear, am I getting what the author's telling me? Well, I could ask myself, what's the who, what, or where? Well, I know that the who is Nick Allen mostly and his classmates, but it's mostly about Nick. The what? Well, I don't have a lot of information so far, but I know Nick is creative and he's also some kind of a, maybe, I don't know, is he a troublemaker or not? I don't know, I'm not, I need to read more to find out about that. And where, well, so far it's in his classroom. So yeah, I'm getting that. Or I could do this, can I see a movie in my mind? Oh my gosh, I sure can. If I close my mind, I can so see the classroom. I can so see the kids in their shorts and the teacher teaching them hula and the door opening and the principal seeing all, oh yes, I definitely have gotten the movie in my mind. And of course, I can always ask myself, what's my feeling or reaction? Well, right now my, my reaction is, oh my goodness, what's going to happen next? If this is what's happened in the first few pages of the book, what else is Nick going to come up with? I'm so curious. That's Anybody else feeling curious? Yeah. All right, so that's how I check in to make sure I am understanding. Now I want you to give me something. I want you to try this too. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to open your chapter book and I'm gonna ask you to read for about just a minute. And at the end of a minute, I'm gonna have you stop and check in with the partner. So go ahead, open to wherever you are in your book and read. To yourself, to yourself.
What the who, what, and where, which is what you're reading right now, or tell them about what you're seeing in your mind, or tell them about your reaction to what you just heard. One, two, three. One, two, Oh, I love the way you're going so quietly. I can 